All right, so um, after I have that lifted and I've tilted that wood up, I put my shuttle through, I make sure the yarn is under every other thread. So I wanna go ahead and pull my shuttle through. I unwind it just a little bit so I have a piece of yarn coming out. So I go ahead and put that yarn in and I wanna leave a little tail on the end. So now that um, one piece of yarn is there, I'm gonna take the stick that I used to hold the shed up, flatten it, and I'm gonna take that yarn and push it up against the edge of the, um, of the frame loom. So I'm gonna push it towards me. All right, so I lift it up to get every other one. Now I wanna push down for the next pass. So my shuttle is still attached to that piece of yarn. It's over here. I'm gonna try to zoom out just a little bit so you can see better. So now instead of lifting up, because I already had those threads lifted, so you can see right here, um, let me see if I can zoom in. So you can see right here, every other thread, there's the piece of orange yarn underneath. So instead of lifting up, now I'm gonna push down and that'll bring the opposite threads to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my stick that I used to open up the shed and I like to put it right along the rigid heddle because it's easier to grab the pieces of yarn there. You can see right here, the yarn didn't go through, didn't come up because it's caught on here. Oh, it came off the back peg. Do you see how that loop came off? So there's no tension. So what I'm gonna do is just take that loop and push it back on. So when I push this down, I can go through and make sure all the yarn that's stuck to each other gets picked up. And now I'm gonna turn that upwards, that stick upwards, so I have this shed now to put the yarn through. So I wanna make sure Zoom out, so I have the shed here, or I have the shuttle here, and the shed is lifted right here with that piece of wood I turned up. You can see on the side, there's the shed. I wanna make sure that my shuttle, I unwind it so I have enough yarn to go all the way across. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the shuttle through the shed, which is that space, that this is the shuttle, and the shed is that space that I've created with that stick where every other thread is lifted up. And now when I pull this, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that piece of wood down that lifted up the shed and use it to push this yarn down. So you can see that the yarn is starting to stick to each other a little bit. That's just the nature of wool and it's also a thick wool. So I'm gonna use it to push that yarn in the the um, back to the bottom of the weaving. So you can see now every other thread, so where it started off over, under, over, under, the, the next um, layer of weft, which is the th thread that we inserted, is over, under, over, under, so it's opposite. So when I pulled this through, you can see a loop on the side. The sides of a weaving is called the selvage. I wanna make sure to get rid of that loop so I'm just gonna take this thread here, the yarn on the side that got pulled through, and I'm gonna pull it up at an angle. And you can see I pull it gently so that loop is no longer there. I don't wanna pull it too tight, otherwise the weaving will be, will be pushed in and pull in. We'll have really uh, thick draw in, which we don't wanna have. And now I can take that rigid heddle and just push it along there to get the yarn where it needs to go. I can also take that piece of um, wood that I used to create the shed and put it back through and pull it to the bottom to get the yarn um, pushed down. So you can see right there, um, those are the first two passes. So now for the third pass, which I'm going, oh, because I did my second pass, I don't wanna forget about this tail. So the tail of the weft, um, I'm just gonna put it in with, I'm gonna go in about three or six threads into that weaving, the same pattern. So where it was going over, 
over, over, you can see I have double here. So I have about th uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of yarn. And I have that go in the same pattern of the yarn that came. So it came from right to left. I'm going to take that tail from left to right and it goes over six threads. And then I take the tail and I push it to the back of the weaving. And that just keeps it out of the way. So once the weaving is off the loom, we can go to the back and just trim that piece of thread off. This tail that started with the warp, we don't need to worry about. It's just gonna hang out here and we'll deal with that at the end of the weaving. All right, so we push down going from right to left. We push the rigid heddle down. Going from left to right, we're gonna pull it up. And that's gonna be the pattern the whole time as long as we're doing plain weave. So you wanna take your piece of wood that holds the shed open and every time we switch and do every other one, the yarn gets a little bit sticky and sticks to each other. So you can see that I'm using the stick to really make sure every other thread gets lifted up. And the higher you lift it, the easier it is. You just wanna make um, be careful that you don't pull the yarn off of the loom because it's not really held on tightly aside from the tension. There's nothing preventing the yarn from slipping off the pegs on the front and the back of the loom. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna lift the shut up and then I can even take one of these other sticks that were, was in the packet and I can call what's um, do what's called clearing the shed where I take another stick and I open that up so the yarn doesn't stick to each other. I'm going to unwind my shuttle so that I have enough yarn to weave through. The shuttle goes through the shed and then I want to pinch the side here as I pull the yarn over so that there's no loop sticking out here. It just goes directly from left to right. There's not a big loop there, but it's also not pulling in. Do you see how the warp starts drawing in? I wanna make sure as I'm weaving that the warp stays perpendicular to the left. I don't want it to start drawing in. That happens naturally a little bit, but we can prevent it by holding the edge as we pull it to the left. So I flatten that stick. and pull it here. Ooh, do you see how this all started slipping up? So I wanna go ahead and just push all the warp down. If that slips up and comes off, you'd have to put it all back on. All right, so now you can see I'm starting to get a pattern here, a plain weave. I'm gonna keep going and weave about eight passes and see where I'm at.